If you ever find yourself having the pleasure of taking an Alpine A110 for a spin, you'll find yourself being asked the same question over and over. That's cool, what is it? Now, if your knowledge of French sports cars is a little bit rusty, here's a quick explanation. The original Alpine A110 was a small sports car with a rear mounted engine that emerged in the 1960s. Its lightweight design, agile handling and spirited Renault engine made it a formidable force in rallying. The connection between the two French brands become even stronger when Renault acquired the Alpine name. They continued the A110 into the 1990s, where finally the name died away until the 21st century, where they relaunched the Alpine A110 as we know it today. The current Alpine A110 pays homage to its predecessor, not only in its striking resemblance, but also its core concept, a compact and featherweight sports car. The most notable change is the placement of the engine. It's now situated in the middle of the car, a feature that it shares with its main rival, the Porsche 718 Cayman. However, the A110 remains rear-wheel drive, prioritising pure enjoyment of the driver rather than focusing on solely the lap times. Hi guys, I'm Tish and welcome back to the John Banks Review Channel. In today's video, I'm going to tell you why you should put the Alpine A110 on your list for your next sports car. This is a very cool car which often gets overlooked and I think it's about time that changed. So if that sounds good, then please keep watching. And if you are in the market for an Alpine A110, why not get in contact down below with our John Banks sales team? If you want to see more videos like this, then you know what to do hit the subscribe button. Over the years, the prices for the A110 have steadily increased, although not to the same extent as some of its competitors. This makes it appear somewhat of a hidden gem in terms of value for money in 2023. The starting price for the base model is £52,500, which is quite impressive considering the level of specialised engineering which have been invested in the vehicle. One of the key selling points for the A110 has always been weight, or lack thereof. The Alpine A110 tips the scales at around 1,100 kilograms. That's 25% lighter than the Porsche Cayman or the Audi TT. How have they achieved such a lightweight figure? Well, mainly it's down to almost most of the components of the body and chassis are made of aluminium. They also haven't sweated the small stuff. In this car, it's all about saving weight and therefore you'll find just two seats and a very stripped back cabin. That low weight has huge benefits when it comes to handling. The double wishbone suspension and strong Brembo brakes help with engagement while the rear-mounted engine offers the perfect balance. There's even a flat underbody which makes the car more stable at speed. There's no denying that the A110 is a fantastic looking car. It's also super customizable. You can get in a ton of different colors. You also can get aero kits for this car as well as different alloy wheel options. You can also change the colors of your brake calipers. So if you're looking for something really personal, then this is the way to go. My favorite thing about this car is something very subtle. And that's just the way that you can peek the seats through the front window and I'll show you inside in a moment because it really is very beautiful. Around the front this is where you'll really recognise the previous generation Alpine. You've got those fantastic round headlamps that give it so much personality. You'll also see with this car, well, it's actually very very small. It makes me look giant but again that low slung driving position is just what makes it fantastic. Due to its small and lightweight design, the Alpine sports car has a compact cabin. However, it compensates with luxurious quilted leather upholstery and a generous amount of technology. The digital dials in the car adjust their appearance based on the selected drive mode, adding to the high-tech feel. The optional sports seats provide excellent support without being overly firm, and the raised centre console adds to a sporty atmosphere, making you feel enveloped in the cabin. The Alpine comes equipped with a 7-inch touchscreen infotainment system as standard. Whilst it's responsive, it's not the highest bit of tech on the market or even within the Renault group. For audio, the GT and S versions of the Alpine come with a two-speaker focal sound system, which delivers surprisingly good sound quality despite the modest power. Additionally, a DAB radio and Bluetooth connectivity are included. 
Although the Alpine boasts two separate boots, they don't offer much space for carrying bags or luggage. The front boot has a capacity of 100 litres and is relatively shallow and can only accommodate a briefcase or a laptop bag. The rear boot, with a capacity of 96 litres, is deeper but still limited in its ability to hold more than a soft gym bag or a weekend's worth of shopping. However, let's move on to the really important stuff. And let's take it for a spin. <laughs> Try and drive this car without a smile on your face. Honestly, that's a challenge. If anyone can do it, I'll give you a hundred pounds because I would say it's completely impossible to do that. There's just one engine available in the A110 and that's a 1.8 litre four cylinder turbocharged unit. And all models come with an automatic gearbox, which some enthusiasts may say is a bit of a loss because can you really have a true sports car without having a manual gearbox? But I'd have to say that the way that they've tuned this engine the gearbox is an absolute delight. The pedals are also really well weighted and large, so it makes shifting actually a pleasure rather than a chore. <laughs> you can get two states of tune. So there is an entry level model with around 250 brake horsepower. And then you have the GT and the S models, which get just under 300. Compare that to say the Cayman or perhaps the Audi TT and that might seem a little bit of a disappointment but I have to say with the lightweight chassis of the A110 it really does not leave you wanting any more power. There are three driving modes, normal, sport and track, which alter the settings for steering, exhaust, traction control and gearbox. You cannot change the settings for the suspension, but despite not offering adaptive dampeners, the car flows beautifully over British roads. Grip is excellent too. In a motoring world which has become a little bit obsessed with high riding SUVs, sitting so low to the ground really does feel a little bit of a treat. You feel so much more connected to the road. The steering wheel is also fantastic, finished in Alcantara and it's the perfect blend of being well weighted. It makes you feel connected with the road. The steering is also pin sharp and though it might not handle quite as well as some of its more expensive competitors, it's kind of part of the fun. Rear wheel drive cars have always had a real pull towards them for enthusiasts. Take for instance the BMW M2, that's the reason why so many people adore that car. And it's the same thing with the A110, it has just the right amount of play. It feels manageable while still having great fun. By minimising weight wherever it can, Alpine has managed to make a sports car with incredible performance, which won't cost the earth to run. Under new fuel efficiency and emissions testing, Alpine claims the A110 will officially do 35.1 miles per gallon. I'm sure, as you can only imagine, it does lose some of its composure when it comes to motorway driving. It's not quite as composed, and because of that engine and the slightly stiffer suspension, it does become a little bit bumpy and a little bit droney on long journeys. However, the Alpine A110 actually has one of the softer suspension setups compared to some of its rivals, and it's far more comfortable on motorway driving compared to something like the Toyota GR86. In a world full of complicated new cars, the Alpine A110 is a breath of fresh air. It's one of those cars that you'll never fully appreciate or understand until you've got behind the steering wheel. So if you are in the market for a new sports car, perhaps you've had an M2 previously or even a Cayman, then do come and test drive one of these for yourself. If you wanna book in for your very own test drive, then you can do that via our John Banks dealership in the description down below. But let me know, what do you think of the Alpine A110? Is it going on your next list for a new sports car? 
If you have enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Until next time, guys, see you later. Thank you.